Mr. Ernest, and um, good afternoon. Hmm. Now, Akim Makole, there has been a lot of talk going on within uh, the Cameroon film industry uh, pertaining to laws that are supposed to bind the industry and those that are supposed to guide uh, movie production. Uh, and there seems to be a lot of confusion as far as uh, constitution and production code are concerned. First, and briefly, I can tell me, what is a constitution in a film industry setting? And what is a production code? Uh, the word uh, speaks for itself. Constitution, actually, whether in the film industry or generally, is, like, it has uh, the same definition. You understand? Hmm. Constitution is a body of uh, fundamental principles or established proceedings according to which a state or any organization acknowledged to be law. So if the film industry have a set principle which they acknowledge to be a law, it can be looked upon as their constitution. Hmm. Just as production code uh, uh, originates from the U.S., the motion picture of the United States, um, which originally was brought on the table by Mr. Hay, hmm. you know, and the production code is another word called the Hay Code. So that is something that we are trying to, you know, trying to adapt it in our society, which is just a set of moral that every film body would like to use. But there is no problem, I want to clarify it, there is no problem using a constitution and a production code. A production code can be formed or can be part of a constitution because it only helps to guide filmmakers and producers I mean, producers and distributors set um, um, morals that their film should carry. Hmm. So, can we have just one of it, like have just the constitution and forget about the production code, or have just the production code and forget about the constitution? It's, uh, maybe I didn't actually make myself clear. For example, like I said, the production code, right, hmm. was set was a set of industry morale, you know, industry morale. It's like a censorship, which is, for example, you are, you are doing a movie, a gay movie. Back in those days, you can't do gay movies. Hmm. Back in those days, you can't do, there are certain movies that are not allowed. They are not popularly allowed to public audience, which those morals can still be used in our constitution of today. So while drawing a constitution to fit to fit a film body, we must or we should take some of those elements in production code and put in our constitution. You understand? Hmm. So there's no way we can say we can deal away with the constitution and use production code. Hmm. Okay. Production code. But constitution is every organization, every body, every government has a constitution. And it's here by an organization, yes it is. What are the things that we can select in production code and add in our constitution? The things that are not repugnant to filmmaking, hmm. the things that are not going to take filmmaking to a lesser value. Hmm. Now, if you want to say we, th we keep aside constitution and implement production code, it is like you are forcing us to take now the, the, the production code of 1930 by uh, Will Hay and put in place. Meanwhile, this production code has already been rejected by um, a good number of filmmakers and directors that have come with new way of entertaining their audience. So we cannot be stick, we cannot look upon the old production code, but there are some certain fundamental value in the production code that can still be implemented in our film body today, and it will be placed under our constitution. Hmm. Now, uh, uh, Akim, what I've noticed with uh, many organizations, associations, uh, call them uh, whatever name you want, is that they contract legal experts to write constitutions. Oh, they simply use uh, other constitutions that have been written as blueprint uh, to make up theirs. But then, I know that within the film sector, filmmakers are very strict with what uh, is their business. They wouldn't want anybody to come from outside to, 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 to write what uh, has to guide them. And that is why I'm going to find out from you who is qualified to write a constitution within the film industry and 
who is qualified to write a production code? Constitution, number one, right? Mm. Like you said, it is a rule that governs a body. Now, if filmmakers have their body, right, and they, they are looking for something that will govern their body, so they're going to come out with a constitution. Mm. They're going to come up with set principles and set laws, set articles, and this thing can be done by legal effort. Mm. Not those that are Filmmakers don't translate constitution. Right. They do not interpret constitution. They only give the articles of the constitution, which say they say it in their own layman way. You understand? Mm. They understand like oh, that should not. It's just like the Ten Commandments. You know, written by biblical scholars. Now, anything that has legal value, you have legal practitioners that know legal jargons mm. used. So that's the reason why. We, we give what we want to legal practitioners to put our constitution in their legal jargon that can be interpreted internationally. Right. So filmmakers do not transcribe constitution. Mm. They write it or they bring their ideas, give it, and it's, it's, it's um, uh, legal expertise will put it in the terms, in their legal jargons, just like in any field of life, we have their legal jargons or that terminology that are used. Right. Science, there are words that are used in biology, in law, there are words that are used in law to back legal, um, and legal documents. Mm. We give our constitution or our set rules and principles or bylaws to a legal body to now transcribe it and it comes out to be a constitution, a binding body for that association. Right. Now, uh, uh, Akim, I, I was speaking to a very renowned Cameroonian filmmaker uh, off record some time ago, and he told me that the film industry is so specialized such that it cannot be equated to other organizations, and that when you talk about constitution, it seems like it's just an ordinary association. Uh, uh, it's an ordinary Njangi house. Uh, permit me use Njangi house. You are a Cameroonian, you understand what I, what, what I mean. And so he said, in film circles, we talk of production code and not a constitution, which means that even what you think uh, that uh, you can have in that constitution can all be embedded in the production code. What do you have to say about that, Akim? I will, I will applaud uh, my fellow colleague, whoever said that, but uh, at the same time, the word comes to constitution explains itself. Hmm. Production code can find its place under the constitution of film makers. Right. Production code, by the way, like is is if you have to interpret it, it's a sense of word. Mm. And Cameroon already have a sense of a sense of word. If we are producing more movies in Cameroon, trust me, the normal procedure now is supposed to be is to go to the Ministry of Culture or Communication to get authorization to shoot a movie. And when you go to have that authorization, there are set rules that 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 you have to follow, there are proceedings that you have to follow to shoot a movie. So the government takes charge of that. A lot of people will say, okay, filmmakers have to do their constitution or their bylaws or their production code. The government has no right to do that. But the truth is that you cannot do a movie without set values that, that, that are respected or that already um, has been issued by the government. All we are trying to do, we are filmmakers. For example, formerly in America, those that adopted the Constitution and used to use, um, those that adopted the production code and used to use it, are major studios like um, um, Fox and um, Lion and all those type of, Lion Gate and all those type of things. Mm. So those were the people. They are, I, so it was between a producer and distributor. But if you look at the Cameroon film body, we... The CFI now includes in the entire film body, actors. Actors make about 95 of the entire CFI, percent of the entire CFI. But if you look at uh, uh, what 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 are interpreted in the the the, the 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 production code, it has more to do with producers and distributors. So where are the actors? Where are the actors? Hmm. Now, in a situation like uh, yours, where uh, you are going to have both the constitution and the, the production code. How are you going to compromise uh, the two? Production code. Like when uh, the new administration came up, they asked us to look at the former constitution of what we see 
and production code that was suggested by um, Aceto, and uh, come out with something that will fit for our industry today. So when I order for that production code, I read it through completely again and again, and I read the constitution, and I realized that both of them can work together, okay? Production code does not take anything from constitution, and constitution is not taking anything from a production code. A production code can keep this article under a constitution. A constitution is a global name used of set rules. A production code can always and always in any time, given circumstances in the film world, have its place under a constitution of a governing film maker association. Hmm. Now, uh, um, as we speak, oh, yeah, go ahead, the name, production code, right? Hmm. <laughs> the code was given by <laughs> Mr. A, and the board that censor used to censor, it used to be his office. Hmm. When another person came in, it, it, it was another person's name. So it is just a set rules. So I don't see why we are into production code. It was written by an individual who says, you know what? And he, I mean, he was a Roman Catholic. You may not say that, that big, a Roman Catholic will have to put some certain rules. That shall not, that shall not, that shall not. Hmm. And that is the origination of production code. Hmm. So it has really much to do with filming, uh, filming, uh, location, and all those type of things, or whatever, whatever. It's just a set morale. Hmm. And those set morale can be interpreted in any constitution in the world. Just hmm. like a customary, customary law, um, core law. We used to have the chief, the phone that would decide things in the country. But when the government stepped in with the constitution, they now they did not reject the entire law that the government, the, 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 the chief we used to do in the, the chief we used to put in place in the village. All the government has to do is that they will select those laws that are repugnant to natural justice, to human justice, and replace with the modern law. For example, beating a woman or sending out a woman with children is not allowed in our modern society. Those were laws that in the, in the customary court. If, you are, if your wife does not satisfy you, you can beat her up and throw her out like property. Those laws are not... Re so we replace them. We replace them with, with laws that favor the society. Hmm. Just like in our constitution today. We look at our, our growing society. If those laws that were set by Roman Catholic ideology does not reflect our society today, are we supposed to just bend on it because there is a word, term, production code? Hmm. We are using words to frighten people. We are using... <laughs> <laughs> the, the truth is this, every civilized society should have a constitution or by law. Hmm. I don't care whether you put your production code under your constitution, the constitution is a supreme body hmm. that interprets any, any set rules. Hmm. So we can always use production code under a constitution, but it cannot be the other way around. Hmm. Okay, Akim Makole is uh, the head of the Constitutional Committee of the Cameroon Film Industry, CFI. Um, Akim, uh, let's find out this from uh, you. Is this production code or the Constitution going to apply to all Cameroonian filmmakers who are spread all over the globe? Or just the ones who practice uh, this art uh, back in Cameroon? Now, CFI is structured in the way that uh, the Cameroon filmmaker out of Cameroon if they want to be part of this uh, Cameroon Association, they have to follow the constitution of Cameroon filmmaking. Mm. It's so flexible. Mm. But it can be practiced, it can be used by everybody. And all the things will apply most on most particular in Cameroon. Mm. You understand? Because I, I, when you produce a movie in America, do you want your audience, are, you, are your audience Americans or your audience Cameroonians? Most of these things will be applicable only when it comes to distributing your movie in Cameroon. Hmm. Are you getting my point? Right. You but know, back in the day, in the early 20s, in the early 20s, early 20s, when we started the film censor board in Cameroon, we used to, I mean, we used to, we used to, we used to get approval from Nigeria. Hmm. Those days, if you want to shoot a movie in Cameroon, or even, even show a movie in Cameroon in the early 1020s, you have to go to Nigeria to get authorization to pay one shilling, hmm. two shilling to get um, uh, the censor to, 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 to get authorization to shoot a movie in Cameroon. Because Nigeria in those days was one of the advanced countries with filmmaking. You understand? Right. It was later that Cameroon now, through the Minister of um, um, Communication, Mass Communication and whatever, set a, a board mm. of censorship in Cameroon.
Cameroon that most of those things in production coach, you can find them there. Right. Simple. So the word production code it is not a scary word. They are just articles. And the production code is used, it, 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 it can be something that is taken from even Cameroon constitution. Hmm. It can be taken in any constitution. So wh why is it that it is appearing new to virtually everybody? What, what is it that it is? What? It's appearing new. It looks like it's, it's kind of new to everybody. People are just getting to know about the production code for the first time. With the word production code. For example, we all believe in Hollywood, don't we? Mm. Everything that Hollywood does, we believe that, okay, since Hollywood has done this, we have to right. think about our own culture. Mm. You know, filmmaking is all about a group of people expressing their culture, mm. expressing themselves in their own ways. So right. if our culture fits us, there is no, we can copy Hollywood, the things that are good in Hollywood, we copy them. The things that are not good, we don't copy them. We borrow. It is not, it's not a crime to borrow. They use it appropriately. I mm. use it when necessary. I use it well. You understand? Right. And production code is frightening people. This conversation should not be valuable in any, it shouldn't even come up. Mm. Because yeah, you, are, you are talking about two the same thing, but different names. Mm. You understand? What is a constitution? A constitution is a global name, as I explained, to a set rules of particular legislation or a body or a government. Whether a production code is a constitution, whether you like it or not, okay. it's not a set rules. Is it not a set rules? It is, is, is it not numbered by articles? What are, what are those? Constitution. You. Any legal expert will tell you that that is the constitution. So, should we just say we want to call it production code, we cannot call it constitution? Right, because uh, I, 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 was going to, I was going to find out, you say uh, a constitution and a production code are one and the same thing, then uh, your industry is about to have the two. Uh, I was going to ask, how are you going to manage two documents? Will that not be, uh, 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 how, how do I put it? Uh, I mean, an overload. Okay, look at it in a legal standpoint. If you have a constitution, you have a production court. Mm. What are they? They are set rules, right? Right. Uh, they are set rules by an association or organization or a group of people thinking alike with the same philosophy. Right. Right? So that is it. That is it. America was born with a constitution in the first constitution was, I think it's 77, um, um, 17 something, 50 something or 17 something. That was the first position because a group of people thought alike and they decided to put something at this. So if we today, we want to say production code, we will say production code. But the same thing that is in the constitution, we'll put it in production code. Right. And so the same thing that is in the um, production code, we'll put it in the constitution. So that is your take home uh, message, uh, Akim Makole. We should stick to, 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 to one name, right? We should stick to one, and I think that is the problem that we are facing. For example, if we choose to cover it in the production code, production code today, mm. so it will, it will benefit some people. They will be happy. But if we call it constitution, they will not be happy. But they are still the same interpretations. Mm. The point. For example, the things that are in the production code, we put it in our constitution, right? Right. And we look at it, it's going well. Mm. So that because we call it constitution, does it change the element? Mm. <laughs> Does it change the element? Uh, so it thank you. Thank you so much. So why should people have problems because they call it constitution? Okay, uh, Akim Makole will definitely uh, follow up uh, this uh, story and see where it takes us to. A court, court, when you talk about court, court, the court, uh, if you're a scientist, you know what court means. Mm. But these are just morals. Right. You call them court. But if you want to look at the definition of the court, it's not, we will go more with constitution than having the production court. We are not decoding or coding anything to be something. We are just given a set of rules. There is no numbers, there is no numerator, it's just a set of rules Say you should not do movies of less quality, you should not do movies with, um, even in Cameroon, we don't even have PG. We don't have PG-13, PG-12, PG whatever, that's the thing. Okay, Akim Makole, thank you so much. I'll just uh, get one word from you as we leave. So, uh, uh, which way are you uh, are, are, are you going? So, what 
name should your industry adopt? Constitution or production code? Then we end the conversation for today. We will adopt constitution. In constitution. The sense that okay. The constitution okay. also has a framework for uh, an administrative body to mm. manage the film, um, um, uh, the CFI of Cameroon. Okay. Thank you so much, Aki Makole. Uh, who says uh, constitution is it? That is, that is uh, the way the industry should go. And to him, a constitution and production code, they are all the same thing. Akim Makule, thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay. We hope to have you again some other time. Let's have some music. Then uh, we brace to move to Minnesota and have the views of uh, Kenneth Ngamne. And after Kenneth, we shall run off with uh, Solomon Atta in South Africa. Yeah.